We know the, as many of you may already know, the uh, T plus two settlement cycle plan has kicked off uh, earlier this year, March 25th. Uh, currently, there are 15, uh, the most fi- liquid 15 stocks on the Russian exchange currently running parallel T plus zero and T plus two. Uh, the plan is that in July, the top 50 will become T plus two with a parallel T zero, and by September 8th, all stocks will be T plus two and T zero will cease. Uh, well, hopefully, uh, they'll find it much more uh, familiar compared to the Western markets where it is a T plus N. Uh, DVP uh, environment Uh, and obviously that hopefully will attract the more international investors. Uh, There are lots of things going on as we'll talk about later about the infrastructure within Russia Uh, and familiarity breeds popularity we hope Um, and those international players that have historically used the international order book to access their Russian assets will hopefully feel much more comfortable. Well, you're exactly right about the reforms, but I think this is a, a longer-term plan. Um, the reforms, obviously, in the form of this T plus two settlement cycle, the NSD and its 17 F7 certification, are creating an environment that should attract international investors. I think one of the frustrating things today is that there is a parallel T zero plus T uh, plus two environment, and that is uh, making people perhaps pause and wait until. Um, T plus 2 is bedded in, which hopefully will be by the end of 2013, uh, and we look forward to commensal increases in 2014. No, I think I mean, there is a fear about Russia. I mean, it's, it's uh, been a topical this week where Putin himself uh, and our CEO of OFC uh, has mentioned is that the fear for growth in Russia. Uh, is frustrating most things capital markets. Um, It's very resource focused and orientated and the reduction in some of those commodity prices over the more recent months has obviously had a direct impact. Uh, We're optimistic that these reforms will uh, appeal to international and institutional investors uh, and that ultimately uh, the fears of 2013 will disappear gradually towards 2014. given the Russian environment, integrity is probably the most uh, the thing that comes to mind uh, and that is illustrated by longevity in the marketplace, uh, the regulatory environment in which you operate uh, and so those things come together to produce a, you know, a counterparty that other counterparties can trust and then can expect to do and work in their interests in that marketplace. I mean, the traditional full service, uh, access to liquidity, access to assets, price obviously, competition and awareness of what a client needs, but ultimately this is still a people game um, and trust is possibly the most paramount of all those qualities. Uh, Well this is, I'm glad to say, another illustration of the pioneering nature of our treaty uh, in our ability to deliver solutions that are international. Uh, in flavour. So it has been very popular, I mean, it was client driven and we as a uh, well resourced bank were able to deliver exactly what we said we would uh, and actually we've now extended that to provide algorithmic trading on the back. So we now have a full end to end T plus N uh, DVP US dollar access to the Russian marketplace with the traditional VWAP TWAP market participation algos. That has served uh, the wide range of clients that we have, that is, whether that be traditional asset managers through to the wholesale business where we're helping them provide their clients with access all the way through to uh, the more high frequency or high volume orientated clients. So we're very, we're very pleased, very happy and I hope our clients would uh, back us up on that. <laughs>